What the hell? What the? What's up guys, it's your boy Jay and welcome to another episode of the F1 22 Might in Korea mode. We are in season 4 and this is race number 5. We are in Great Britain. We are in my home country's Grand Prix. Last time we was here, we ended up winning this Grand Prix with Max Verstappen trying to get on my backside. But it just didn't work. It did not just work. Also, there is going to be rain in the race. So that's something that we do need to consider. We have caught up a bit in the qualifiers, so let's just see if we can just keep it up. Again, we have finished in the top 10 every time this season. So we are doing legit perfectly just fine. Legit just fine. But next season, I'm still looking forward to next season because I'm not sure if next season will be the next, the last one. Because FIFA is coming out soon and that's the game I'm looking forward to the most. Which is FIFA. Because that's going to be the one that I'm going to be looking forward to. That's going to be a career mode, that's going to be everything. But as we come up towards the end of the Grand Prix here, it looks like we might struggle from the outset. Because ladies and gentlemen, we'll start this race in P16. up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside moving on to the rest of the grid we have Albon, Drogovic, Sergio Perez and Sainz, Russell, Gasly, Magnussen and Daniel Tictum, Sonoda, Norris, Robert Schwartzman and Mick Schumacher, James, Stroll, Ralph Boschon and Oscar Piastri, Joe, Ocon, Vettel and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are up now to P15 instead of P16. Lights out. Away we go. Again, it's going to be a bit of a shaky start because it is in the rain. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, God damn it. I don't know, why am I on the grass? Uh, I can't get past this. I can't get past this. I'll have to get, try and get past here. There we go, P13. Not bad, not bad. Tell, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that's it. I got the slipstream of leather. I had the slipstream there. P13. Oh, here we go. We're going to try and take advantage. And we've overtook Lando Norris. Can we try to take us to Noda too? No? Nice move. Good job. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. Here we go. I'm going to try and take it on. I'm going to try and take it on. There we go. This is why I don't play on normal mode. All right, go on. Just take the corner. Just take the corner. Take the corner. Take the corner. Ah. Now that was clean. That was clean. P11. What the hell? What the? Dude, it's really different tire. What just happened there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we overtook, um, kicked him. All right, here. So here's Russell. So he overtakes, um, Magnuson? Okay, and then Gasly bumps through. So that's what happened. Okay, fair enough. Uh, P10? Right, here we go. I'm going to try to take him over now. All right, oh, here we go. It's going to be a bit shaky. I think I might have the corner, though. I do. I have the corner. And we have overtaken. Thank you. All right, we've overtaken Magnuson, But now, the question is, with everyone behind my backside, and maybe me not being able to catch up to Gasly, what can we do for the final laps of this race? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the final lap of the race. I did cut it out last episode, but uh, we're actually going to keep it in for this one. Green flag. What happened? I don't think that was me, was it? 
Oh no, but either way, we've got to keep moving. We've got to keep moving. Because we have the chance now to get P9. P9 might not sound that impressive. But in the rain, I'll just start him from the back. Again, this is a brilliant, brilliant result. And this car is now doing wonders. This car is now doing beautifully. Alright, turn the corner. Let's have it. Again, all we've been getting all race is just greens. Greens, greens, and more greens. Look how far we are from Magnuson and Dank Tietzum. They're not going to for the last points, but we are going to get two points tonight here in Britain. I meant today, but oh well. Alright, we've got a warning. Hopefully, it won't lead to much. Alright, come on. This is it. This is it. Pass it in. Pass it in. Again, it's now getting very difficult to drive on this thing, especially with the corners. I'm oh, be surprised if we got a red. Oh, okay, we got 108.268. I don't think we can get the best time, but we have done incredibly well around here. Unless we can get a 133.415. And Max Verstappen has won the British Grand Prix. He got robbed last year from me, but this year he can have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we get P9. race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Tell me Anne, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on track was, speed. I know it sounds like an awfully reductive statement, but fast cars win races and we saw that today with our winner. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They've performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone on the team. After this round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's table. After an incredible day of racing, who is your driver of the day, Ant? I have to give it to James. Look at where they finished compared to where they started. It's not easy to cut through the field like that in Formula 1, so it was a great effort. Let's move on to the constructors. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, that certainly was an exciting weekend of Formula 1. Be sure to join us for more exciting Formula 1 action very soon. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic British Grand Prix that was to start from the back. To get our fifth consecutive points finish of the season is not the big points, but it's definitely points. Definitely points. And with Norris getting none, two points sounds fantastic at the moment. Russell is doing good too. He's doing good. Also, before we go, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to show off the new J Motorsport Racing car. There it is. It's basically the same design. I just think it looks a little bit just nicer than normal. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. Just like you know, I was once just like.